Good morning and welcome once again to the English class. Here comes a fact for the day. A new word is added to the dictionary every 2 hours. Now let's have a recap. We learnt about an author named Leo Tolstoy who was regarded as one of the greatest novelists and short story writer of all the time. We also read poems on growing up. Growing is all about new experiences and realizations. It's about realizing our dreams and potential. But why did we learn about Leo Tolstoy? And why did we read a poem about growing up? Now, here is the reason. We read a poem on growing up because the unit which we are going to see in English is growing up. It's our first unit. And a lesson which we are going to learn under the unit is Valodia and Me. This story is written by Leo Tolstoy, a Russian author and translated by J.C. Hawker into English. What is this story about? It is about a little boy, his bittersweet relationship he shares with his brother. I hope all who have siblings with you will agree with this little boy. You also might have experienced bittersweet memories with your sibling. Is it not children? Let us read the story. I was only a year and some months younger than Valodia. Here, I refers to the little boy who is the speaker. We were quite close. We grew up, studied and played together. No distinction of elder and younger was made between us. But just about the time I am speaking of, I began to realize that I was no companion for him, either in age, in interest or in ability. What is the meaning of was no companion for him? It means not similar in taste and interest. It even seemed to me that Valodia himself was aware of his superiority and was proud of it. This idea, it may have been a wrong one, was inspired by my vanity, which means pride, which suffered every time I came in contact with him. He was better than me in everything, at lessons, in arguments and in manners and all this took me farther from him and caused me moral anguish which I could not understand. Here the word anguish means mental suffering. When Valodaya was given a tucked linen shirt for the first time. I was unhappy for not having a shirt like that. I am sure I would have felt happier if I was convinced that every time he arranged his collar it was not done to annoy me. What tormented me most was that 
it sometimes seemed to me valodaya understood what was going on inside me but tried to hide it but perhaps my sensitiveness and tendency to analyze deceived me in this case it may be valodaya did not feel at all as i did here the meaning of the word tormented is annoyed he was impulsive here who does he refer to children he refers to valodaya okay let us read he was impulsive and his enthusiasm in different hobbies did not last long he would suddenly develop a passion for pictures himself take up painting spend all his money buy them and beg them of his drawing master of papa and of grandma what is the meaning of impulsive it means one who acts upon something without thinking about the result so who was impulsive valodaya was impulsive according to the speaker children till the previous slide i gave you the meaning for the new words but from here i have just highlighted the new words what are you supposed to do you are supposed to find the meaning for all these words which have been highlighted with red color now back to reading then it would be a craze for curious to decorate his table collecting them from every room in the house or a mania for novels which he obtained on the sly and read all day and night i could not help being impressed by his hobbies but i was too proud to imitate him and too young and not independent enough to choose a hobby for myself but there was nothing i envied so much as valodaya's happy large heartedness which showed itself most strikingly when he quarreled i always felt that he was behaving well but i could not do likewise once when his passion of ornaments was at its height i went up to his table and accidentally broke an empty bright colored little scent bottle what happens after that to know that read the story from the link that i am going to send you complete the google form and send it to me on or before 6 pm here are a few questions for you why does the speaker feel that he was no companion for valodaya second question how did the narrator feel when valodaya was given a tucked linen shirt name some of valodaya's hobbies fourth question what about valodaya did the narrator envy the most fifth why do you think valodaya had to get the books on the sly 
Make a note of the new words and find the meanings of those words and write it in your notebook. Write in about 2 to 3 lines answer for the questions asked in the video and take a clear photograph of your answers and send me in the group. You can take a day's time. Send the answer before 10 a.m. on Friday. Thank you children.